Hello from Michigan. Hello from Indiana. And hello from Ohio. You would think state borders are set in stone. Like this monument, which is solid steel surrounded by concrete. But that's not always the case. Most state borders have stone monuments, iron markers, or something really substantial to mark where they are. The border that goes this way separates Michigan from Ohio. And that's pretty much set in stone because we fought about it. More on that story later. This road separates Indiana from Michigan, and it's not set in stone. In fact, except for places where there's a road to market, they're not really sure where the border is today. They have an idea. They have a pretty good idea, but they don't know for sure. This is the tri-state border where Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana come together. It can withstand the weather, car traffic, and pretty much anything that nature can throw at it. In fact, the wheels of government are working right now, well, sort of, to survey the border of Indiana and Michigan. It's called an unsettled border. They have a good idea of where a lot of the border is, but they don't know the exact location of most of the border. So join us as we investigate the border of Indiana and Michigan. So this is Ray, Michigan. Now, if you do a Google search for Ray, Michigan, you won't find it because you have to do a Google search for Ray, Indiana on the other side of the road. Half the town of Ray is in Indiana. Half the town is in Michigan. And some people here, I guess, have a driver's license from Michigan that says that they have an address in Indiana. Now, living on a border in a town like Ray can be difficult because if you wanna go fishing, you have to make sure that the place that you're going to go fishing, that you have a fishing license in that state, whether it's Ohio, Indiana, or Michigan. If you get in a car accident, you have to know if you got in the accident in Michigan or in Indiana. If you want to buy something, you can buy it in Michigan at a 6% sales tax. You can buy it in Indiana at 7%, or you can buy it in Ohio at 5.75%. But then you have to see what the local sales tax is, which could be about 1.5% on average. So this road marks the border of Indiana on that side, Michigan on this side. So here they're pretty sure where the border is. But the last time this border was surveyed was in 1827. And when they did that, they laid wooden posts every mile for the entire border. Now, wood doesn't last terribly long when it's put in the ground, and that's the problem. Now, property owners and local surveyors have a really good idea of where the border is, but without any official posts, they officially don't know exactly where the border is. And it could be off as much as a few inches to a few feet. So here, for instance, at Lake Pleasant, we're actually in Michigan right now, and these houses are in Michigan, but if you walk out to your dock out there, you're walking into Indiana. So for the past 20 years, a group of volunteer surveyors have taken up the task of searching for this line. All right, now, oh, back to the right a little. Oh, watch out. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. Wait, 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 move over to, move over to the left. Nice. If you actually go look, what you'll find when you dig down the corner, you'll see a black smudge, an organic stain, which is a remnant of a stake. It'll be maybe two to three inches across. This is a quote from Jack Owens, who is a surveyor that's been working on refining the line for the past 20 years. But at the rate they're going, they estimate they'll be done in a couple hundred years. Now, both the states of Michigan and Indiana want to know where their border is. And in 2009, Indiana actually passed legislation that would create a state border commission. And uh, Michigan followed suit in 2011, but uh, they didn't actually fund the legislation, so nothing happened.
Then in mid-2022, there was a flurry of news articles saying that Michigan and Indiana both passed legislation again, and then they passed appropriations where they would fund the initiative with $500,000 each. So that's exciting news because the wheels of government are in motion in the hallowed halls of each state capital. They've decided to survey the border and they're gonna finally do it again. And they're gonna put in permanent markers, granite, concrete so there hasn't been any news since then so we checked up on the progress and there's actually a website for the michigan and indiana state border commission encouragingly they have a meeting in december of 2022 on the issue and in 2023 they scheduled six meetings but here's the thing they canceled all the meetings because they couldn't get a quorum all joking about the efficiency of government aside they can't seem to agree on what the actual cost is gonna be because they both wanna survey it in different ways. Now there was supposedly a meeting a few days ago on March 28th, but the website doesn't show any minutes from the meeting, but it does have an agenda. So it seems like an ambitious uh, agenda where they talk about the fact that they're going to set goals, they're going to look at uh, different firms, they're gonna get some quotes, they're gonna talk about funding, but there wasn't really anything of substance except at the bottom of the agenda there was a very important note individuals attending the meeting are requested to refrain from using heavily scented personal care products in order to enhance the accessibility for everyone so at this point the settling of the unsettled border looks kind of grim and even more grim is all the commission appointments for the indiana michigan state border commission all expire in July of this year. So we'll wait with bated breath to see if our border gets settled or not. Wait, 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 wait. So a couple days after we finished the shooting, um, I went online and they posted the minutes and they did have a meeting. It's the Michigan Indiana State Line Commission and they met and no members were absent, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, they did some work and uh, they, uh, they talked about some stuff. They got some cost estimate studies done by DLZ Corporation. So it looks like the wheels of our government are back at work to survey the Michigan-Indiana line. So kudos to them. Um, if any of you guys are watching, I'd love to uh, join uh, one of your survey parties as they head out. So yeah. Good news. So yeah, there's an interesting thing about state governments and our little peek into the runnings of state government where they don't hold a meeting for an entire year. Wasn't that interesting? And I did not know that heavily scented personal care products were such a big deal in state government. From the Michigan, Indiana border, I'm Chuck. I'm Poppin. The channel's Restless Viking. Thanks for taking a trip with us and we'll see you later.